Alrighty, we're multiplying whole numbers with fractions. Just remember with whole numbers, this says 5 right here, but you can write 5 over 1. And that's still the same number because anything over 1 is that number. So 5 over 1 times 1 over 8. You don't have to find a common denominator with this. You just multiply straight across. So you do 5 times 1 is 5, and 1 times 8 is 8. And we have 5 eighths in this instance. Um, this one here, same thing. Put 3 over 1, 3 over 1 times 2 over 3. And we'll end up with, um, looks like 3 times 2 is 6, and 1 times 3 is 3. So that's 6 over 3. Or another way of saying 6 over 3, 6 divided by 3, I'm just going to make this 3 a little bit better, equals 2. And another way of thinking about this, if we were to have three groups of 2 thirds, so do 2 thirds um, plus 2 thirds plus another 2 thirds. Now I have three groups of 2 thirds. It's the same thing as saying 3 times 2 thirds. If we added the thirds, 2 thirds plus 2 thirds is 4 thirds plus two-thirds is six-thirds, which is what we got right here. So that's how that can make sense another way. I mean, multiplication is just repeated addition, right? That's what we, we learned um, way back maybe in third grade. Uh, just one more problem. I want to show you cross-reducing, too. So, of course, we make six into six over one, and three-fourths can just stay the same. When we multiply this out, we'll get six times three is 18, and one times four is now you notice with the 18 over 4, these are both even numbers, so we can simplify this. It really equals, if you divide it by 2, 9 over 2. And that actually is an improper fraction. We can make that 4 and a half. Now, to, to get to the step where we can just simplify right away, you can actually do something called cross-reducing. It makes life a little bit simpler, especially when you're dealing with bigger numbers in your numerator and denominators. So cross-reducing, I'm just going to take the same problem here. And uh, before I start working on it, I'm going to do something to the numbers. So I know that 6 and 4, one's a numerator, one's a denominator, they have a common factor of 2. So I'm going to cross off the 6 and divide that by 2. So I get 3. And I'm going to cross off the 4 and divide that by 2. And I get 2. Now when I do this, I'm left with 3 times 3, which is 9. And 1 times 2, which is 2. So I kind of just skipped this 18 over 4 step that we did up here. That's it for now. Be sure to check back in a day for multiplying fractions with fractions.